I'm Eric Scorcia. And good morning, Texas. It's Good Morning Texas, live with Scott Sands and Deborah Duncan. He's known as the Scorch. That's because he always leaves the keyboard smoking. Whether it's his red hot Texas blues, rock, jazz, or soul, Eric Scorcia captivates audiences with his energetic and eclectic B3 organ. He joins us now performing a song from his latest CD, Vital Organ. Here is Eric Scorcia. <laughs> Scorch, Eric, Scorch, Scorch. He's got people in the newsroom even jumping up and down and having a good time. Right. Somebody get a fire Very good extinguisher. Morning. How, you How are you? Nice to see you. Please have Glad a seat. You, the organ is still smoking over there. If we can get a fire extinguisher over there, that'd be good. How you well, doing this morning? Good, different you? <laughs> Just fine. Always nice to have musicians up before 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's real nice. It's uh, unusual. Well, I was going to say that. I was going to say that. Uh, where did you first get the idea to start doing this kind of music? Well, I suppose when I was young, uh, there was a TV show I used to watch back in Ohio, and uh, it was a late night TV show, and they used to uh, show the horror movies. And they had uh, Jimmy Smith, an organ player, as the background music. And he used to do the song Back at the Chicken Shack, and I think that's where I first heard this instrument, the B3 organ, uh -huh. and kind of fell in love with it. Yeah, it makes a great sound. Yeah, this, this sound reminds me of a lot of the music from the 60s, and I started to say, is it back? But it probably never went away, did it? Well, uh, no, but it did kind of wane in its popularity during the 70s and 80s mm -hmm. with the introduction of the synthesizer. 
but uh, I've been playing it all along. The, uh, the gentleman that you have with you, uh, who are they? I have Mr. Ed Sof on drums, uh -huh. Lewis Hutchison on guitar, yes. and Pete Gallio on tenor sax. Oh, it's a great well, sound. We're Thanks. talking earlier about uh, how well your CD is doing. Yes, well, as a matter of fact, last week it charted at 26 in the nation at National Jazz Radio, mm -hmm. wow. receiving a lot of radio play. And last night I received a telephone call from uh, the tracking station in Key West who monitors this type of thing, and they mm -hmm. told me I jumped 10 points, and as of today, I'm 16. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah, your drummer just said he wants a raise. Uh, no <laughs> problem. <laughs> you, also, something that's really cute inside of your CD cover here, it has like an actual recipe for <laughs> armadillo stew. <laughs> yes, when I was writing the first song on the record, which was then untitled, I uh, was cooking a pot of Texas chili in the other room. Uh -huh. So I decided to call the song Armadillo Stew, and at the same time, I named my Texas chili, which was previously unnamed at that point, mm -hmm. Armadillo Stew, and the recipe's on the CD. There you go. There you, there go. you go. Get some music and a, re a recipe all at the same right. time. Yeah. Uh, Eric, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. We really appreciate you coming sure by. Sure do appreciate it, and I'll be at Sambuca this weekend for my record release party. Everybody's invited. Oh, what, when, is, when is this? That's Friday and Saturday, Sambuca, Deep Elm, and I'll also be at Borders Books on September 6th for an autograph signing at 7 p.m. Good. Come by and uh, see and meet Eric and pick up the, uh, the copy of Vital Organ. It's a great CD. Eric, yeah. thanks for being with us. Thank you. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. Best thanks. of luck thanks. to you. Congratulations on your, uh, on your uh, success on the chart. Thank you, sir. Eric's going to come back later in the show and perform some more music with us uh, for us with the rest of the gang.